Hi again. Um, I'm having a go at another kind of monochrome-ish uh, with negative space. Basically I'm doing the same as in the previous one, but this time the uh, base color is black. Uh, the same colors are in the cups. Also layered um, kind of in the opposite order. Um, here I started with white, here I start with black. Um, two layers of the four colors. Silver. Uh, paints gray that uh, because it can look kind of almost black because it's so dark. I lightened it with some titanium white. Um, uh, and titanium white and oxide black. All colors are Amsterdam acrylics. The pouring medium <clears throat> is, uh, well I mixed up a total of 1200 grams of fluid or medium. Uh, of those 1200 grams there was 200 grams of uh, pouring medium uh, from Amsterdam Acrylics, uh, my favorite one. Um, Liquita X works really well too. Um, so yeah, of the total of 1200 grams, there was 200 grams of um, pouring medium, uh, 500 grams of PVA blue. Remember to get an acid free one if you're using glue. Uh, if it's acid free, it won't yellow with time. Um, shit, back in a second. Got my baby wipes in the other room. Got some white, probably from the previous painting. Drag it up onto the black. Won't look so good, so had to get that off. Anyway, so acid free glue, yeah, or non yellowing glue, really important. Otherwise, you run the risk of your painting this colouring over time. Uh, especially if you give it away, gift it or sell it. Uh, you have to be really conscious of that. Uh, you might have to do a bit of research to uh, find the right type of glue. I have two different ones that I find work pretty well for me. Um, where well, one is actually the craft glue from Sustan Grena. It's a kind of um, craft store chain that you'll find in most big European cities. Um, the other glue or PVA that I use is from England. It's from Sea White of Brighton. Looks like this. really good comes in nice big um, jugs five liter uh, jugs anyway enough talking um, so 
I'm torching the bottom of the cup to make a hole. Uh, the safest way is to do, do this before you actually put uh, paint in the cup. Um, but I'm a lazy daredevil. So I do it like that. Sometimes it does actually actually catch fire. Um, probably not good for the paint. Um, anyway, so okay. So I think this needs to be stretched out a fair bit to have the other colors shine through. So I'm going to pour off a fair bit on that side first, then do the same thing on this side. And then and see what happens. I'm considering getting a heat gun because I, I have a sense that uh, the creme brulee torch burns like a little too hot. Uh, so I'm gonna have a go and see how that if it makes a difference. Too shabby. Um, I don't know, I think I prefer the black base to the white. Um, how about you? I guess I'll have to see how they dry before I <clears throat> decide, but. Oh, there are some really beautiful details in this one. Yeah. I am quite loving it. Okay, have a look at that. I know the lighting is a bit off right now because the sun is shining into the room, but um, hang in there. It makes it a real pain to try and photograph it. <laughs> 